It's, it's really interesting because he, he goes very deep and it's, it's quite raw and, um, and really, really intricate details. It's incredibly dramatic. The text is incredibly, well, quite bloodthirsty. It's quite Catholic. My name is Lars Ulrik Mortensen and I am musical director of Concerto Copenhagen and thus also the conductor of this performance of Handel's Borges' Passion. I have lived, I think, with the Borges' Passion for the better part of 25 years, uh, but this is actually the first time that I'm involved in a performance of it. I have always, since I discovered the work, uh, been fascinated by it, but I have also been fascinated about the seeming lack of recognition that this work has in Handel's complete production. It's not very popular, it's not very frequently performed, and in much of the Handel literature it's actually not ranked very highly. Today we, we often spend a lot of useless energy uh, distinguishing between secular and uh, secular and sacred music. Um, I'm not sure that it's worth going so far down that road with a composer like Handel because Handel principally always writes opera. We should also not forget with the Borges Passion of course that it is without comparison the most important passion by Handel in his own native language. I absolutely love, always love to work with Concerto Copenhagen and Lars Ulrich. It's, um, it's a real joy. Come here to Copenhagen, work with an you know, elite group of musicians and Lars Ulrich is tremendous fun and tremendously intense uh, intellectually and musically and it's just very rewarding all around, really. There's just a real sense of joy and humour and collaboration and of course that's led by Lars Ulrich who is such a kind and um, encouraging lead figure to have. He is one of these people who has a tremendous number of musical ideas going on and in fact I think he's one of the most musical people to work with. He's very sure of what he wants and yet he always welcomes ideas from other people.